So here we are again with the MaxLine single side load, 2 inch. This is the tag on from a couple of the other videos on how to install MaxLine product onto drywall. Once again, you're going to see a soft set method where this is using a pin nailer. Going ahead and just helping the installer to kind of hold that on there. It's not necessary. You can also just go ahead and hold it on or if you have another person, have them hold the profile while you set the pocket hole screws. They're actually a coarser drywall screw. They come provided with the product here. So again, the max line sticks come in uh, 2 inch, 3 inch, 4 inch, 5 inch, even 6 inch. We can go any interval in between. We manufacture that here at FabricMate Systems. They uh, come to you already pre-drilled with all of the pocket holes in them as well as the proper screws to make it fast and easy. So what you see here is the uh, radius version. This profile comes in both square, radius, or beveled, chamfer, all one inch. Real nice, robust looking edge. If you imagine this in a four inch profile on the wall with that radius or chamfer, a real nice look for a freestanding panel. Uh, these profiles again here are side load, single side load, meaning there's one classic line installed in the expander. So you won't be able to use this up against the wall or ceiling. You're going to need at least a minimum of eight inches away from something. Uh, to be able to get the rolling tool or the tucking tool into the side of it there. So you'll see he's using a little spacer once again here. This is important because you'll see shortly the uh, fabric is going to be tucked into the back there nice and clean. It's also going through the front. This is another method just to show you for demonstration purposes using the three inch screws right from the front going into this soft max line composite material. Not necessary. It's just to show you an example of what you can do if you need to back it up with a little more strength or if for some reason the pocket holes and the screws provided do not seem to be gripping properly into the drywall. There's a lot of different drywalls out there, different thicknesses, some that are a little bit softer, more dense. Sometimes the screws do not hold properly. So here again, you're gonna get a view here, a bird's eye view of the pocket holes using a simple drill with a Phillips bit, fast and easy. Unlike the fabric mounting frame where you're using the stapler or, or screws, this is just the screws that come provided. So fast, easy, real strong, tight hold. You can see the little gap there. It's about a sixteenth of an inch gap that you're getting. And again, you'll see shortly what the purpose of that is. So use a little spacer again, a piece of Formica. It could be a piece of vertical blind, which this is here. Uh, could be a number of things that you might have around the uh, household or the job site there. Uh, four in one. The rocker or roller tool, the roller blade itself will give you that gap as well. So uh, again, here you're going to see the pocket holes, how fast and easy all four profiles are put up, four sides here. I'm going to go ahead and move that spacer over. Again, this is a small demonstration panel. You can imagine, though, if this is a 5 foot by 20 foot panel down a church, restaurant, lecture hall, somewhere where you want that robust sound deadening, there it is. He's going to go ahead and install the Recore 2 inch product as you've seen in some of the other segments. It's available at fabricmate.com here. It's going to give you one of the most robust sound deadening performances out there. It's going to use the 3 inch screw once again. You're going to see here is the uh, Recore. It's recycled from plastic bottles. Environmentally friendly. No itching, not, not like yellow glass out there and other products that uh, are going to have maybe uh, airborne fibers or itchy to the touch. Real popular in the home environment, education environment, anywhere where they're trying to get away from some of the uh, products that have used over the years, which is regular insulation, yellow glass. Again, a real nice product to work with. Environmentally safe and friendly for uh, people and pets. So there you have it. Max line single side load two inch up. Going to take the uh, sanding block as always. Make sure that the edge have a nice clean finish. Making sure there's nothing that's going to protrude or show through the fabric. So you want to take a take a few minutes to take a look at your mounting frame to make sure uh, that the max line or whichever profile you're using is sanded, ready to go to receive the fabric finish. This is, again is a side load, so there's a single channel on the back against the wall. So go ahead and uh, sit back and take a peek at this. He's going to start using the rocker here, and you'll see some of the same techniques used all the way around. So 
So same process as uh, many of the other videos on fabric installation. Go ahead and use either the 4-in-1 or the rocker here. You're going to do a little soft tuck, making sure that the fabric panel itself is proper orientation. If you have a weave on it, this has a slight weave. You're going to go ahead and make sure that the weave is horizontal and vertical, going in the right plane that you're looking for. You're going to make sure that there's no soiling occurring here. Maybe there's a, a flaw in the fabric that does occur from time to time. It's really your chance to stand back on these large panels. This is, again, a small demo. We've had occasions where uh, people have put the fabric on backwards, where it's uh, a little um, twisted from the other one, or maybe it's reversed orientation, and it really does show once it's already stuck in, you stand back and look at it and find out that something wasn't uh, paid attention to. So, so you're going to be seeing th little different peaks here uh, behind the installer here, of, uh, going into the hidden channel on the back. When you get near the back here, going to be switching to a couple of different tools. You're going to want to take your time on these corners. There's a little technique you'll see here and you get a close up here where you're going to actually stuff the fabric, excess fabric into that little gap that we have. You remember that little sixteenth of an inch gap? You're going to take and stuff it in there, <clears throat> taking your time if there's any little wrinkling and going ahead and getting the uh, any little puckers out of there. Uh, from time to time, it may also be necessary to use that small hammer again. It gets a little snug in here, so you take that small hammer and use either the 4-in-1. So again, from time to time, as you've seen in other videos, this 4-in-1 uh, is designed with a little platform on the back of it here to uh, be used with a small hammer with a little tapping. That's perfectly fine, as you see here, a little hammer here, a little tapping on it. You don't want to uh, use excess muscle strength when you don't have to. This was designed properly for this on both sides. When you need a little bit of extra help there, just break out the little hammer. You'll see little tiny puckers occasionally going on, and those can simply be worked in and then moved up. So don't be alarmed. There's a way to move those little uh, puckers there you see going up there. So you're just walking that down, walking it down either to the other side or towards the corner, nice and clean. Again, this is giving you, compared to the double side load, a little different look. This product available again, two inch, three inch, four inch, five inch, six inch thick for much greater sound deadening. So if you want to take uh, take a peek at this, it's uh, available at fabricmate.com on the website. Go ahead and take a peek. Those product pages will give you a little bit more explanation. See some photo galleries of where they're applied. So again, when you get to these corners, as we always recommend, take your time. You don't want to rush it here and make a mistake. So once you get it in, a nice clean finish. Again, always making sure that you protect the wall. This is for demo purposes only, so we don't have the uh, wall protector on here. But you want to make sure that you're not taking that wheel from the roller tool or from the rocker or from the scissors there and damaging the wall. So just be cautious of that on your fine finish wall behind it. Again, you can use the uh, wall protector strip that we have that comes in the contractor pack or simply use a piece of Formica or maybe have a thin piece of cardboard somewhere there on the project and put that in between the wall and your tool to protect the wall. So there you have one nice corner being finished there. You're going to apply these same techniques to each corner and then finish it off and you'll have a nice completed panel. A two inch thick. This is the single side load with the one inch radius edge profile. Again, designed for those places where you're wanting more robust sound deadening. So again, you're going to work your way around the profile here. Once you get your corners, you can either use the rocker or the roller tool. If uh, from time to time it seems to bulge up, you might have to use the 4-in-1 with the spade and take the little hammer out and tap it in. Again, there's a hidden channel in there and you're rolling this in in tight quarters against the wall. But uh, it is a quick process once you get some of the uh, technique down here. You go ahead and again cut away the bulk of fabric and get it out of your way, taking your time to pay attention. So again, it's rolled in, it's seated properly in the hidden channel at the back there. The classic line square profile is inserted in the max line extender here. The extender is what break, brings these half inch products out to the depth that you're looking for. Two inch, four inch, six inch. 
and you can simply, once you're ready to get going down that long wall and you have it finished, take that roller out. Again, sometimes you got to put a little bit of muscle into it and just make sure you protect the wall. But you can see you're getting a nice one inch radius, two inch thick panel here. It's going to give you a lot of years of uh, sound deadening in those rooms. Remember to always wash your hands in between. Take those uh, little wipes out or stop and wash them. Keep your hands clean. They will build up normal oils, touching tools, and just the work environment that you're in. So go ahead and clean those. There's nothing worse than finishing your panel and seeing some little uh, dirty fingerprints on it. Again, this is a blue fabric here. This is our parallel line. You can see, keep the sharp scissors there, and they should, should be able to just run those down a long 30-foot wall. So here's where, if you remember, we gap this, uh, these joints here. So we put a little gap in there so you can get the uh, spade tool in, or maybe you have a 5-in-1 uh, if you don't have the proper blade. Uh, some people even switch to a little butter knife, putty knife. Just make sure that it's doled out. And what you're trying to do is just catch it into that little groove that was left there by the spacer. So you're actually just taking the last 3 quarters of an inch where there's a spacer there and you're tucking both sides in to get rid of the excess. Once you get it back in there, then it's just finishing it off on the side. So here you see, once again, the DIY roller tool, fast and easy against the wall there. Again, there you see it, the single side load two inch. All of these products come in five foot lengths, so about an inch and a half wide. Of course, whatever height you desire, two inch, three inch, four inch, six inch. So here you're going to go ahead and want to take a peek around, make sure everything's tucked in everywhere, you don't have any little strings hanging out, make sure that everything looks satisfactory to the finished panel. So there you go. Just a quick overview on the demo wall here of the panels that can be uh, put up here in the MaxLine series. Thanks as always for watching. If you like what you saw, give us a thumbs up. If you want to uh, subscribe to us so you can get every uh, video that comes out next, go ahead and do that. And as always, we thank you for joining us. See you next time.